All right, so I have all of my Christmas balls that I've made and I've cut them out or I've cut them out partially. My advice to you is make sure they're completely dry so you don't mess up your pretty decorations. So what I'm gonna do, and you have lots of options about what you wanna do, but I'm guessing there's probably somebody important in your life that you need a Christmas, decor a Christmas present for. So what I'm going to do is I am going to make this just a pretty painting, a pretty um, Christmas painting. And I'm gonna take these three ornaments and I'm gonna finish cutting them out and I'm gonna arrange them on this piece of paper. I've taken one of our sketchbook pieces of paper and I've folded it in half and I think I might trim off a little bit of the bottom again. But what I would like is I'm going to draw in a um, some Christmas tree branches. So as my background for my ornaments. So I am going to just do the needles of one branch and I'm gonna do the needles of another branch. It's really nice and loose and I am going, I can add, I can make another type of green by maybe adding a little bit of yellow to my green. So I'll make some more over here. So this is going to be the background. I'm gonna keep adding some more. Now I'm gonna take my green and I'm gonna add some blue this time. So then that way I have a couple of different layers of our Christmas tree branches back here. And then at the very end, what I'm going to do is I'm going to then take the brown and very, 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 very lightly, I'm going to put in, not, not all the way, it's a little bit dark, so I'm gonna add some water, make it not quite so strong. And add in the branches, what's connecting all of those needles. And go over this again. I'm gonna have one more layer of green. So then that way you can see how I'm adding lots and lots of layers, but not too much because as you guys have probably discovered, our paper starts to sort of fall apart if you paint it too much. So, yeah. Okay, I'm liking how that looks. So I'm going to cut out these and I'm gonna decide, I have these little gems that we have in our, I think I might glue these on in a pattern. So then that way it makes it extra special. And then I will have my little piece of Christmas art as a present. Okay, here is my final product. So I have, I cut out my ornaments and arranged them and I glued them on with a glue stick. And then I did glue some of our sequins on to the background and then to my yellow ornament. My piece of advice for these is put the glue on the sequin. It'll make your life easier. So put the glue on the sequin and then add it to your piece of paper. It'll just make life a little bit easier. Um, I've also added the year and I've signed it. So now if I was gonna make this a present, one way to make this extra special is if you have a piece of construction paper, you can cut out a bigger piece than your art and you can make sort of a little frame. So I would cut the paper here and then that way it, it looks a little bit more polished. Or if you have holiday wrapping paper, you can do that. You could put a piece of a wrapping paper behind it. So it makes a little a, a, a little bit more formal, but um, I think anybody would be really excited to receive this as a Christmas gift. I hope you have fun.